Hello everybody, welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're getting closer to the end of the game. Now technically I could have ended this playthrough um, before um, or when I was talking to uh, Owl, but I decided not to do that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Actually, do I have any cord seats? I'm glad. I do not. Goodbye. I doubt you have anything more, anything more important to say, so I'm just gonna leave. We're actually quite close to the end of the game. Final area, actually. Or final new area. But yeah, this could take a little bit longer than normal because this part of the game is where things really start to pick up in difficulty. And by that I mean it's just the last boss. Jump over that. Oh, oh missed it. Here we go. Don't worry, we get to keep it. Okay, that makes... Oh, yep. That's... That makes sense. So why is a giant rope man... grabbing on me? And carrying me? Seems a bit unnecessary. Okay, not unnecessary, but, um, strange. I don't really understand the lore behind the giant rope man, but... Or giant rope person, whatever you want to call him. But it's a thing made out of rope. You know that it's made of cork. Not sure. But either way, here we are. This is our stop. Machina uh, Traveler is the uh, trophy you'll get. Anyways, here we go. And there's actually a fairly difficult boss just up here. I ain't too worried about it. Pretty much the same boss. Ow. At least for the first and at least for the first base. Ow. I really gotta stop forgetting about that attack. No thanks. Find your own 
I don't know what the term is for it. Uh, just gotta. Oh man. Ow. Yeah, that was a thrust. Get back over here. Okay, I, I asked for that. Nope, that was a bad time to do that. Yeah, this isn't gonna go out. I'm not gonna... I'm probably not gonna win this one. deal with uh Phase, and you won't have a problem with the second. attack that causes terror. That's not fun. Ow. This boss gets a lot more aggressive in its third phase. Can't be having that now. Ow. I deserve that. if you try and stomp on him during one of his, uh... Right? Yeah, no, that's a problem. If you try and stomp on him during one of his sweep attacks, then he'll do a weird attack where he just hits you with a terror-inducing attack. Yeah, like that. Yeah, at least he's almost dead. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure I dodged that. Okay, I hate this boss for that reason alone. Nice. He's dead. Or she's dead. I'm not sure. Either way, super dead.
Because we got the portal blade. Gross. Now you get the memory for the true monk and wait, what is that? Possessing increased stock that can be Oh. That's interesting. I wonder why they give you that so late into the game. Hmm. Yeah, might as well buy one. Let's see, what can we get? Uh, here, let's get... Yeah, we'll get Fang and Blade. Projected Force. So yeah, Fang and Blade I'm pretty sure is a lot more useful with certain uh, weapons. Anyways, here we are now in Fountainhead Palace. One of the most difficult areas in the entire game. And that is because of a lot of reasons. Um, am I supposed to grab it onto something down here? No, it's just a fall. But anyways, you generally want to stealth your way around here. Or you can run past everything. Not my preferred way to do it, but it does work. There's a bunch of mist nobles around here. They're the worst. And they build up a horrible status effect that pretty much is an insta kill. But yeah, they also drop a lot of chaos. Nice try, buddy. See, I knew that there were two of them. As actually getting through this area is pretty difficult. You can't really swim over there because of the dude that's up there sniping you with lightning bolts. So yeah, he's the worst. Grapple around here. Oh yeah, sometimes you'll find one of these guys. They might as well be Genichiro. At least the ones with swords might as well be Genichiro. It's actually pretty easy to get through here, at least the f through the first parts of this area. Oh yeah, careful, those are lightning bolt dogs. Yeah, everything uses lightning here. It is super annoying, actually. Uh, not sure where to go from here. The dogs are annoying. Then again, I also have shuriken. Perfect. Didn't even arouse suspicion. Well, for the most part. Just grab both these. Oh, that's another dog. Well, time to run away. Pretty sure you can find another bowl here. Sort of like the blazing bowl, but a Sakura. And it's, well, a skeleton. As you can find a, a bonfire here. Nice. Perfect timing. As I do have a skill point, might as well spend it on something. Well, if I could spend it, spend it on anything, I would, but I can't. See if I can't remember where to go from here. Not great, really? I'm just gonna rest him. I'll reset him. Seriously though, these Miss Nobles are like the worst.
super easy to kill, but they can kill you just as easily. Excuse me, young man. Mm hmm. Young man, please be careful. The palace nobles have a craving for the vitality of youth. They can't help themselves. They want nothing but to sap away more and more of it. I see. The courtyard ahead in particular. It is accursed. It's crawling with palace nobles. If you must forge ahead, you'd best go around it. Thanks for the info. Why are you telling me this? I have a favor to ask you, young man. What is it? It's about my father. My father is now a noble. And the moment he became one, he found himself entranced by a carp. The great carp. For a long, long time since, he's done nothing but feed that cursed carp. Young man. Please, release my father from the carp's bewitching powers. I know my father wouldn't wish for an eternity like that. Well, anyways, I'm just going to go around the courtyard anyways, because you can't really run away from these guys. Let's see me. Really? That is super annoying. How do they see me? Yeah, well. Yeah, that makes sense. No thanks. Thank goodness I was able to do that in time. Close one. Oh, well, there's the bowl. Well, no, I'm not going to fight that. I had enough trouble with the first one. Guarded. Ow. Okay, that's enough out of you guys. Oh, that was a thrust attack. easy enough. Hmm. Yeah, that's way too many. really got to stop, man. Seriously. How are you supposed to tell which... 
Okay, really? Oh my gosh. And there's more of these guys. by another one of you guys. At least they drop a bunch of pellets. Well, here we are, already at the halfway point of this area. Or I guess at the two-thirds path? I, I really don't know how far along we are. I really don't know how far along we are. I do know, however, that this area is super annoying. They move so slow, too. Or fast, I can't tell. But whenever you get up close to them, they're just dead. in the game. Now, if I recall, to get up there, I need to go... Yeah, I need to go back down that way. Or I can just go back up here. No, I need to go down. Pretty much at the end of the area, anyways. Well, almost. Right, are just the worst. Yeah, you heard me. You're the worst. Yeah, well, I'm not fighting that many dudes at once, so... What you can do instead is just run right over here and fight them another day. Oh, right, yeah, I never used that memory that I got. Uh, might as well do that now. Uh, purchase a bunch of spirit emblems. I probably used that many. You know, it doesn't matter if you sneak up on this guy or not, because you can't sneak up on him. Ow. Yep. Because you can pretty much just all one spam him to death. Super easy. 
can get a prayer bead for it. It's really nice. Now, if only I could actually get back up there without having to use this. best dialogue or the best amount of lore or whatever. This guy doesn't care. Well, that didn't work. Uh, is there a grapple point somewhere? Or somewhere I can get up? I would really like that. But unfortunately, it seems like there isn't one. Oh, well, the path up here wasn't too hard. Actually, uh, I can't remember how exactly to get up there in the first place. Right, it was over here, wasn't it? Pretty sure you had to go through this way. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much somewhere around here. Well, there's a bunch of fish around here, first of all. But more importantly... go down here, or, well, you can go, oh, that's where you get the precious bait. Uh, nope, not what I wanted to do, at all, this is the wrong place, and at the wrong time, no less, I, the last thing I want to do is fight a headless. Now let's go up. So I can actually tell where I need to go. I believe it was over this way. Yeah, it was right over here. Ceramic shard. But pretty much you want to stealth your way through here. Very gimmicky. Well, not what I wanted to do. Okay, I need you to face the other direction. enough.
pretty sure you can just skip this whole place right over here. It's a bunch of the Mist Nobles. I don't think these ones will try and uh, make you weak, though. Because they're red. And we'll get the next idol before we close off this video. Yeah, these guys don't have the flute. So there's some really easy farming if yeah. If you're up for it. Anyways, there's also a chest here. Oh yeah, this has a gourd seed in it. Well I suppose we should go use that before we end the episode too. This is a pretty easy path to take, so you don't really need to be... The only real thing you need to worry about is getting struck by lightning. Don't worry about all these guys. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to, because... Well, there's this right here. And there's another boss right up ahead. I think we'll save that for next episode. And then we'll focus mainly on fighting Ishin, maybe? I mean, this is the second to last boss, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll save it for next episode. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment down below. I'll see you later.